extremely believable news. Good evening, good luck. Laura, you're in shock. Could you just get out of shock, please, Laura? You suck. Your mom sucks, Laura! She's got no tits. Good evening, viewers. My name is Johnson, and you are watching EBN News, where tonight's top story, Justin Bieber finally goes mad with lust and joins the cancer bites to be closer to lead singer Liam Cormier. However, before that, we have a special report on one of the greatest philosophical issues of the age. Teenagers on holiday. Are they really as bad as the stereotype suggests? We will have updated reports on this, on this issue coming in pretty much the whole entire day, so stay tuned. In fact, in fact, I am, I'm being told, I'm being told that we have reporter, top lead EBN News reporter, Stroke Swiftly, live for an update. Stroke. Are they gone? Coppers don't give up so easily, do they? Yes, indeed I am here. And I have some breaking news on this argument at the moment. It appears that there are just two sides to it. There's the side that says that teenagers are actually quite responsible and nice and fluffy animal-like creatures. Then there's the side that, yeah, sure, bits of them are bad, but we can work on those bits. Most of them seem to be pretty good, but there is the side that we are on as a nation, as a news station. The side that says... They are all evil-spirited bastards out to sodomize bottles of vodka while sniffing cocaine. Obviously this is a fairly deep issue, so I had to go straight to the top. That's right, I went to Mr. Cameron's office to ask him for a statement, and we have it here. It says, How the ruddy hell did you get in here? Can't I have a crap in peace? Obviously this can only mean one thing. It obviously means he agrees with us, teenagers are bad on holiday. We do not want them there. We want to lock them in prison. Back to you. Thanks, Swiftly. But right now we have reports of a teenager in West Sussex who apparently isn't drinking all day and smoking marijuana. We go live now to Penelope Urinal for her views on the subject. Penelope, antisocial, disloyal, rude, crude, violent and murderous. Some of the accusations listed against your generation. Uh, your thoughts? Well, actually, I am a member of the teenage community and I find it frankly horrific that such accusations can be leveled at us. I find the entire concept of what you are saying alien to me. Sure, there are many of us that we could improve on, but I like a drink every now and then, and I speak for all teenage communities when I say that we are not just mindless drunks on holiday. So what you're actually saying is that you find it offensive that anyone could level these complaints at your generation, especially relative to them on holiday, and you believe that you are a part of a responsible and well-meaning generation. Yes, indeed. I believe that we are part of a mostly responsible generation, and that I think it's far too common and traditional nowadays for the tabloids or the papers or the media in general to find a story somewhere of a misguided small group of teenagers on holiday that have frankly misrepresented the majority of us. What about the occupants of the so-called port of abuse, Penelope? Are we to believe that your generation of responsible teenagers are on holiday are the kind who would urinate on Churchill's monument during the riots. Are we the kind to believe that they would stone toddlers to death in railway tracks for fun? Uh, as I said, there is some work to be done here in the situation, but to say that we are all so mindless and irresponsible on holiday is frankly not true, and I don't understand how anyone could label us as such especially in the current climate of us being a supposedly tol tolerant and diverse and understanding nation. I don't understand how anyone would want to label an entire community. What if I told you that all the good news we hear about teenagers, be it on a holiday or off holiday, they were frankly irrelevant. It takes more than a few good grades at the end of the term and a charity chess competition to overcome the fact that most of your ilk can be found raping, pillaging and vomiting into flower pots everywhere. Back in my day, we would have hung people like you. But then how about, will you stop doing that, please? Please, I'm trying to level a responsible and reasonable argument here. Thank you. 
How could you suggest that we are somehow inferior to your generation of teenagers when you grew up in the 1960s, a, a time when alcohol abuse and even drug abuse was... Thank you, Penelope, but I think we've heard more than enough from your WKD-induced tongue at this time, especially as I'm being told through my ear now that we have top reporter Just Dip It live, where he appears to have gone back in time to the past to have a look at the last summer holiday. Just, what can you tell us about last summer holiday and how it compares to this summer holiday? Oh. Is, it, is it straight? Do I look different enough from last time? Good. Yes, indeed I am. I am here live where I've been searching night and day fruitlessly just so I can find one teenage boy to humiliate on national television, provided that he's drunk enough. Uh, I assume that if I manage to accomplish this, then everyone in the world will automatically assume that teenagers are bad on holiday. In this case in point, I have managed to find this young man right here, Mr. Eric Fondle. Come on, Eric. What? Go no. toward. Go toward. I the love right. you. That's You're nice. You're my fascist friend. That's nice. Thank you. Now look. Look to camera. It's a, a camera. It's a camera. Yes, well done. Now, the uh, now, Eric. It's a camera. I know, Eric, but can you tell me your opinion? Are your ilk, I mean, teenagers in this sense, all antisocial arseholes? Jan out. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Undeniable proof that this propaganda, I mean, news station, has managed to unveil to you. However, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go now I'm due okay. to. Thank you. I am going to have to go now due to... Ha I've just seen my past self walking down the street, and if we connect or touch each other, I'm afraid we could cause an automatic explosion that destroys the fabric of the universe. <laughs> well, we can't have that now, can we, Just? <laughs> it would be a bit of a bugger, wouldn't it? Now we have our last report from Miss... Jane Thompson. Are you sure about that? Yes, indeed I am, John. No middle names like Nipplebottom or Rump? No, those names sound rather silly, if I'm honest. Right. Well, Jane is... Jane is currently making a report from a sixth form college just the day before a summer holiday. Is that right, Jane? Yes, indeed I am. I am currently joined by two people. One managed to get the highest grades this country has ever seen, despite having cerebral palsy. And the other just recently saved 18 children from a burning building down the road. J J Jane, Jane, could I point out here, and don't say this the wrong way, I mean it with no disrespect, but you appear to be showing teenagers in a good light during the summer holidays. Well, most of them are, though. Oh. Yes, but we don't want the public knowing that, now do we, Jane? The public suddenly think that teenagers are actually chirpy, sweet little fluffy animals that they are. That's our ratings up in smoke for the summer. But we are a news channel, aren't we? Surely we should report the good bits as well. You clearly have a lot to learn, Jane. I suggest that we wrap up this report right now by saying that your first interviewee uh, is faking cerebral palsy and that your second one throws babies off a of cliff for fun. And with that, that's all we've got time for today, folks. Stay safe, and remember, if you see a teenager, run for your fucking life.